What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. You guys already know the deal. We are back today playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Power Construct Weakness Policy Zygarde team alongside with Assault Vest Thunders and Technician Scissor. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We're closing in on 8,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough. It seriously is amazing. Like, you guys are crazy. You guys blow me away. But rocking out on this team, we're going to get started off in that top left corner. We got Zygarde sitting up here. And I haven't used a Zygarde team since, I think, the first day of Series 8. This was like the first Pokemon I recorded with. And we had a blast with it. I think we went 2-1. and one, And we dominated the rank ladder with them. He has the power construct ability, so when he goes below half HP, he powers up, his stats go crazy, and he gets really, really bulky. His HP goes through the roof. Like, I believe he doubles his HP. So it's just like a free HP boost at that point. Then we have that weakness policy, so if we can get that proc, we can actually go out there with plus two attack and roll out and dominate the battle. Then we got that move set of Thousand Arrows, Scale Shot, Protect, and Coil to set up. This Pokemon is an absolute beast. You can set up multiple ways, one with the power struck, one with the weakness policy, and the third way could be with the Coil. Right next to him, we have the Thunderous with the Defiant ability. Going to be great up against Intimidate Pokemon that are pretty heavy in the meta right now. Like Incineroar, Arcanine, and Landorus are like on a bunch of different teams. So Thunderous is going to be amazing. We also have that Assault Vest. So we can eat up some special attacking shots. And then that normal moveset for him for, with Fly, Wild Charge, Super Power, and Lash Out. Middle left corner. Left corner. Middle left. <laughs> we got Incineroar, our Intimidate Pokemon with the Guav Berry. Nothing new, nothing special with this Incineroar. Same normal moveset with Flare Blitz, Snarl, Parting Shot, and Fade Out. It just works so well, so if it's not broken, don't fix it. You guys already know that. But Scissor, right in the middle right. And I haven't used this Pokemon in a while. I absolutely love this Pokemon as well. It's awesome. And it's really dope looking. And it's great all around considering it is fast. And it has first turn priority moves such as Bullet Punch. And it has another one that it learns. Is it... I forget what it is, but this one's not rocking with it. We have Technician with it, so any move lower than 60, power 60, goes up to 60, which is amazing. So Full Punch is going to do more damage, u turns going to do more damage, and it's going to be all around amazing. We also have that Choice Band, so all moves are going to do more damage, but we're going to be choosing the one. We got Bullet Punch, Iron Head, u turn and Super Power. This Pokemon is going to be great in the back end. Bottom left corner, we have Tapu Fini, Misty Surge, Citrus Berry with Nature's Madness. So, big fairy stab move inside that Misty Terrain. We got Muddy Water for our Water Stab move, Taunt for Support Mods, and Heal Pulse to heal up other uh, Pokemon on our team. Final spot, we got another Support Mod, which is Whimscott with the Prankster ability, Eject Button, Moon Blast, Switcheroo to swap out some items, Tailwind to get that speed going, and Protect as our final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. And also, let me know for question of the day. What is your guys' favorite Pokemon that does not have an evolution? We're not going to be uh, including legendaries. No legendaries here. For me, my personal favorite is going to be probably Shuckle. I can't really think of anybody else that ha doesn't have an evolution that's cooler than Shuckle. Shuckle is so dope, and somebody just sent me in a team in my Instagram DMs. Don't think I didn't check that out. I got to respond to you, but I'm going to be probably using that on the channel very, very soon. So, hopefully you guys are excited for that one. But without further ado, let's hop onto that ranked up ladder and try to get some wins with this Zygarde team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Kyogre rain team with Umbreon, Milotic, Regilecki, Porygon 2, and Robin. We've been seeing Umbreon a little bit more on the meta, which I kind of like. I don't mind that Pokemon. He's very strong, and he's cool looking, he's just fun to use all around. So, Umbreon, you could stay in the meta. I don't mind you one bit, but who should I lead? How should I go into this one? I think I'm going to go Zygarde and Wimscott. He does have that rain. He does have that rain, which is like, eh. Which is like, ah, uh, I don't know. He have that Kyogre. We don't, we can't really change weather. I think Zygarde's a decent lead. Because Zygarde should be faster than him. I see we have 20 seconds left. Zygarde? Oh, is Zygarde faster than him? I'd actually go Scizor. Hmm. I'm going to bring Thunderous. Actually, I might lead Thunderous. I am going to lead the Thunderous, bring Zygarde in the back. And then Scizor as our final spot. Yeah, let's go Scizor. Let's get Scizor rolling here in our final spot. Hopefully, we can pick up a win in battle number one. That'd be awesome to get started off with a stronger victory. But I... As we were loading into battle number one, I thought of more Pokemon that have no evolution that are really, really dope. Like, Shuckle might not even be my favorite anymore. Like, we still have Shuckle. We have Lapras, Drudgeon, Duraludon, Dedenne, uh, Molga, Togedemaru, which I like. There's a lot of cool ones that I totally forgot about. And Klefki, yo. You guys know I love me some Klefki. But this guy goes Regilecki into Kyogre, so he can E-Web up and go from there. And if he does drop my stats, I might just... Ooh, I might Dynamax here. I might Dynamax. Or do I Tailwind? If I Tailwind and go minus one, I should still be faster than I think. So I'm going to go Tailwind here. And I'm going to drop a Wild Charge over onto you. Because if he goes E-Web, that's totally fine. Let's see. Tailwind's going to pop out here. Go E-Web. Defiant boost me so I can take, take this Kyogre out. Go for it. 
No, we just outspeed it regardless. And we're gonna get off a nice big wild charge, which is phenomenal. And she's gonna drop an E-Web. I would think he would outspeed me. There was the E-Web. So, go for a water spout. I would love to see a water spout. E-Web coming out here. Our Defiant is going to boost, which is lovely. Which is just lovely. We are still basically plus one on speed because Tailwind acts as a double speed, which is basically like a plus two uh, speed boost. But Defiant is getting boost. I wish that E-Web came out a little earlier. My eject button is going to swap. Probably going into, into a water move. Oh, do I go into Zygarde here? Or do I get straight scissoring it? Hmm. I don't want scissor out here. I ain't gonna lie. Now we're gonna get Zygarde out here. I, th I, I'm, I think he's gonna go into a water spout. Oh, I don't think we're gonna take that much damage. Rather than an origin pulse, let's see. Yep, there's the water spout. Beautiful. So that's based off HP. Easy eats. Easy eats all day. Lovely. No, your boy's buzzing. Okay, so now, actually, I'm just gonna go for a thousand arrows and double up into that Regilaki slot. I'm just go for a superpower. Actually, no. Nah. Rather just go for a lash out. Thousand arrows coming out here. E Web's gonna drop. Does not affect my Zygarde. That's totally fine. Zygarde should be faster than uh, Kyogre. So, 1,000 hours should be able to come out here. And, you know, Defiant's boosted, man. Defiant is boosting. Here goes my 1,000 arrows. Tiger's definitely dead. This move's so dope. And we just pick up the easy double kill. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Strong first turn here. Where's that guard coming out there with 1,000 arrows? Gets the double kill. We still have a Dynamax. I think I'm going to... I would love the Dynamax as uh, Thunderous, but I can't. I can't. He's, he's, he's on 14 HP. But he's boosted, yo. He's plus 4 on attack right now. So if he can get off a hit on anybody, support so guy's definitely slower than him. Let's see who his final mine is. Oh my god, yo. We won this one. This one's over with. This one's over with. A wild charge is just going to take out the uh, mile deck. He's not outspeeding me. Uh, I am going to Dynamax. And I am going to... Do I go for a warm one? I'll get a special defense boost place one a little safer. And I'm just going to wild charge. He's probably going to quit this battle. I can totally see him quitting this battle. If he goes one more turn, like my Pokemon out speed. And we're getting after it. Zygarde is going to go first, though. He does have a Dynamax, which he's probably going to Dynamax that mile kick. Which I still see a Wild Charge potentially taking out. Plus four, dude. That is nuts. That is nuts. Defiant OP sometimes. You cannot forget about it. Like, like, you can lose matches on forgetting about Defiant. Or competitive. It's ridiculous. Like, if you lead... Say I lead an Intimidate Pokemon and he has a Defiant Pokemon. Like, I basically lose right then and there. Most of the time. Most of the time, you lose. He is going to Dynamax and Milotic. He might guard and trick him. That would probably be a smart play. I still have a Scizor in the back end, which is really nice. But if he doesn't guard, yo, this Wild Charge coming in hot. Real hot. Real spicy, too. He does have the water advantage, but I'm fine. We're going to get a special defense boost. That's why I did go into this Max Quake. And he is not going to guard, yo. That's game. Plus, Wild Charge doesn't take out, but I, I totally see it happening. This is going to do too, too much because the Evo Light on the Porygon. We are going to get that boost, which I really, really like. And, dude, we getting out after this. And if you want to park my policy with that ice, Wild Charge, bang. Later. Later. Get him out of here. Get him out. Get him going, yo. Plus four Wild Charge. Going to take out a full HP Dynamax Mile. Like, easy. Like, it's nothing. Oh, recoil damage. That is a heaping amount of recoil damage. The KO, like, 300 to 400 HP. Thunderbolt's gonna, gonna slide over here, and we're gonna eat that up. Scissor's gonna come in here and clean up this battle. Clean up this battle, baby. Scissor, he's definitely gonna just uh, leave. He's definitely just gonna leave. Probably the best move to choice ban into would be Bullet Punch, to be honest with you guys. I want this more. I'd rather just go into Quake. Would probably be Bullet Punch, considering it takes first turn priority, but in this case, we're gonna go Iron Head. We don't need first turn priority. But say you're like middle match. And he has other Pokemon. Bull Punch is probably the best move to choice band into with Scissor. Because you have that technician and he's going to get boosted. But you get that first turn priority, which is amazing. Then you have that stab on top of it. That's what makes Scissor really, really good. In my opinion. But is he just going to... He's not going to cancel. Wow. No cancel. This guy, this guy, is, this guy is fierce, man. He's like, yo, my poor guy in two. He's going to clutch it up. He, he doesn't play no games. <laughs> this guy doesn't play around. But strong first battle here. We're going to go 1-0. Can we get the clean sweep? We should be able to sweep it up. No Pokemon dead. Get him out of here. I don't think it's going to KO, though. But it does. We get a crit. That's why. Let's go. 
Even the Poke guys are like, alright, yeah, let's speed up this battle. I'll give him a crit here. We'll finish this one up. Hopping into battle number two, going up against a pretty strong team is Ice Rider Calyrex alongside with Incineroar, Tapu Koko, Porygon 2, Tapu Fini, and Galarian Moltres. I kind of want to get my Tapu Fini in on this battle. Pretty strong. We have Nature's Madness on this thing. If you guys do not know what Nature's Madness is, I'm about to show you. It's an awesome move right here. So we can go in here. Nature's Madness, the user hits the target with a force of nature and halves the target's HP, which is amazing. But you can only use this, I believe, in the terrain. So it's going to be pretty nice. It's going to be pretty decent here. I do like that move. Uh, I might actually lead it. Do I lead it? Get it all in there? Uh, I think we're going to Whimscott. I don't want a fast Pokemon in here. Oh, I can. Oh, let's go here and here. If I can do a switcheroo into a fake out and uh, take out a Dynamax Pokemon. That'd be pretty good. Uh, we're going to bring Guard in here. He does have Incineroar. Uh, a lot of special attackers. Oh, no. He does have physical with the U, but. Who do I want to go into here? Hmm. Either Thunder. Oh, do I think. Ah, Scissor's not bad, man. I do dig with the scissor. I'm digging the scissor. I always like having scissor in the back end, so I am going to bring scissor. But I really do want that Finny, man. Nah, let's bring that Finny, dude. Let's get Finny buzzing up in here. We showed off scissor a little bit in the uh, back end of Blast Battle. Maybe we'll bring him in on the third one, but yeah, yeah we're going to go Finny here. Cannot deny how good this Pokemon is. I do. I would rather roll Moonblast on my Tapu Finny, but Nature's Man is just as cool. We are showing off other things, and it is better, like any guys do know. That I really like using off meta stuff or stuff that isn't that everyone's not just using. So that normal move set of Moonblast, Muddy Water, Taunt, and uh, Protect. Really, really good, but I'd rather not use it if I don't have to. He goes Coco into Porygon 2 and, um. By Jack Button? Uh, I'm gonna switch. I'm definitely going to switch his. Uh, switch Porygon's item. 100% switch Porygon's item. And switch Ruin. Did Mason come out here? I just want to get rid of that Evo Light and let him not get off Trick Room or whatever he's trying to do. We got to, it's going to download. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get rid of his Evo Light. Switch a Roo. And 100% outspeed that thing. So I, I think I'm just going to Snarl here. Just so I can get that uh, special attack drop over onto that uh, Tapu Coco as well. Switch a Roo comes out here. Hey. There, I got cups for you. Give me your item, baby. We're going to get the eject button. We get that Evo light. We'll fuck this setup. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. We're going to uh, make force the Porygon 2 to swap here. And we are going to get a minus one onto the uh, top of Coco. Which is huge. It's huge. This thing is setting up screens. This this buttery biscuit, man. This buttery biscuit. Hey, Porygon. Get him out of here. Get out of here. Get him gone. Get him out of here. He's going to throw out. Whom are you going to throw? Throw out another special attacker. That would be lovely. Probably going to be Calyrex. It's going to be Finny. I do think that. Because I can set up a Tailwind and go into another Snarl. Your boy. Your boy playing well. <laughs> he can set up screens all he wants. I'm just going to pass it around here. Alright, let's get it rolling. Uh, let's go Tailwind. We're taking that speed. Uh, I think I'm parting actually here. I'll party next turn. I'd rather get off another snarl here. Let's see what he does. Parting's gonna be the play next turn. He does have the Moxie. Throw out another special attacker. He has to have Calyrex in that final spot, right? Right? He has to have Calyrex. He sets up a light screen. It's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind the screens that are light. He's gotta be clayed, right? Maybe I should give take off his clay, but. I might switch root items with that top of Finn. Could be, could be a power move. Could be a real power move. He's probably gonna drop muddy water here. Really fine. Oh no, he's ooh, ooh. oh. We have some problems. <laughs> we have some problems, man. We have problems right here, right now. Things uh, leftovers. Okay. We got problems. We got some problems. We got some problems. <laughs> um, I don't want to hard swap. Uh, what would the play be? Yeah, let's take his leftovers. I'm not dealing with that. And I'm gonna parting shot. Uh, let me see this thing stats real quick. Let's just special defense boost it. That's fair. Yeah, we're gonna switch over. We're gonna say, hey, give me that, give me that half eaten apple. I'm gonna parting shot over onto him. Yo, switch over coming out here. Give me, give me that. Give me your apple. 
I'm not dealing with it. You can't have it. I take the Evo Light. <laughs> take this use useless Evo Light. Oh, he's going for a Nature's Man. Oh, yo, everyone's rocking out with this. Everyone's rocking the Nature's Man to stay. Half my damage. That's fine. Part shot coming out here. No. Take that. Take that. Nature's Madness could be really, really good up against bulky Pokemon with like big defense boost. And uh, what's it called? Oh, do I get outside guard? Mm, is he gonna go for a fairy move up against me? I'm actually gonna let it happen. Considering I have a policy. I have holding policy. And that could potentially bring me down to half. That's a gleam. Oh, that's lovely. That's a lovely turn. It's a lovely turn. Proc my policy, baby. Love see. Now we're dying in action. I am going to go into that max weight, get that special defense boost. That's huge. That's a huge turn for jeans. And my apples give me HP. Yes. <laughs> yes, no leftovers for him. Awesome dope. Uh just gonna moon blast over into you, do a little bit of damage, and why can't just thousand arrows? Thousand arrows will pick up the KO. We do not need the Dynamax. We do not need Dynamax. We have speed. I think this is a fine turn. I think this is a fine turn. Hapu Coco is gonna go down here, no problem. And uh Top of Finney could potentially go down here. Good potential. Possibility. We do have Scale Shot on this thing. And last time I used Zygarde, we did not use that move Scale Shot. So I don't know if that's his signature move. I don't know if Thousand Arrows is 100% his signature move. But I don't know if he gets two. Some Pokemon get two sometimes. It's pretty dope. But Shiny Zygarde looks amazing. Like, look at that. He has, like, a teal color with that white. Mwah, it's beautiful. Okay, so he protects Finny. I'm fine with that one. Is he going to protect Coco as well? No. Okay, so Coco's dead. Coco, come here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Top of Coco. Come, come here. Get him back. Get out. Get out of here. <laughs> we have to do the triple, uh, the triple finger wave. It's get, get, get out of here, man. Get him out of here. <laughs> and do it at least three times. At least three. But yo, the leftovers helping us out. We're rocking out pretty strong here. I don't think he really knows what to do now that we start all pestering around. I'm still have Incineroar in the back. So if I have to, if Calyrex comes out here, I'm not afraid to swap into my Incineroar. Who's your final Mongo going to be? Who is a kind sir? We did already. Did we already take out a Pokemon? No, we, we just uh, forced to swap for one too. So he is going to download. And in this case, I think I just do. Do I have one more turn left in Tailwind? I do indeed. Give me no reason not to Moonblast. And a thousand hour once again. Or. We're doing that. <laughs> We're coiling, baby. <laughs> We're coiling. These guys aren't don't hit too hard. The move is gonna come out here. Think doing, doing just a tad bit. Coil coming out here. Boost our defense and attack. Get a little bulky. I, I could die next now. But I'm hoping they can uh bring me down to half. It's gonna calm my Hey! Hey! What did I tell you, Toppy Finny? Oh now now you're gonna get it. Now you're gonna get it. Now I'm not playing around. Oh, oh, okay. I see you. I see you. Um, I think I Dynamax here. I think I gotta get it for his top here. That one peters out. We need, uh, actually, that actually works fine with us. Uh, this is using stats real quick. Only plus two in special defense. He's really not gonna hit too, too hard here. I think I might just Moonblast. Y'all shot still, but I know I can't use this. This move boosts the user's stat, but lowers his... Okay, that's a little weird. I'm just gonna drop a thousand arrows. I would love for this thing to, like... There you go, there you go. Do damage on the move. There you go, now you're talking. Too much... Yo! Hey! Hey! Yo! Dude, I always underestimate Porygon doing damage to me. He does a heaping amount for no reason. Yo, dude, this dude's crazy. This dude's crazy. We still have our top of Vinny, which is probably going to be our Dynamax by now. Probably should have Dynamax a little bit earlier. Probably should have done that. Maybe that turn. Uh, do I go Incineroar? Do I go Finny? I think we get out Finny here. Like, kind of nature's madness. You see, this one's going to have to be our Dynamax by I guess we're gonna have to do it. I guess we're doing this. I guess we're gonna change up that weather. Yeah, well, Porygon doesn't have his Evo Light, so I think I'm just gonna take him out. Let's have Trick Room. 
Misty Surge is hustling, bustling. So, Porygon has no item. What's called has the Evo Light. Top of any has the Evo Light. Special Defense is boosted, so. I'm just going to Moon Blast, and I think I am going to Nature's Madness over on the top of Finny. Considering it is really bulky right now, like a big way to get off damage. Ice Cream's going to pop over to Wimscott. Dude, this, this Porygon, man. This Porygon, don't be dirty. Don't be real dirty. He's going to calm mine. That's why I'm Nature's Madnessing. Um, real question is, do I Dynamite now? We can't Dynamax this anymore. Nature's Madness comes out here. Dang, man, that's actually a really good battle. Should've Dynamax the side guard. That one's on me. That one's on me, ladies and gents. Uh, gotta get out into the war. So, final mod. Gonna fake out the, uh, the Porygon. Give him a little clap. He's trying to waste out this, uh, Trick Room. I think I just take out the Porygon. Is that, is that the case? Would I fake out the Tapu? Tapu might have to get the fake out. Hmm. I have to pick out someone. Porygon is posing such a big threat, but I'm going to do that. And I am going to, I think Muddy Water can do work. Actually, you know what? We're going to set the rain right here. I'm going to set the rain and take out Porygon here. We're doing it right here, right now. Using our Dynamax, we get an answer. Dude, I should have Dynamax had side guard. Dang, dude. Would have been to play. Would have been to play, Jeans. Dynamax had side guard. Would have been able to dump on that Finny, dude. Would have been able to get rid of it. Now it's boosting that special defense category. And it's got to go. It's really got to go. If I was him, I would Dynamax it, but let's see what he does. Fake out, coming out. Bink, doing a little bit of damage, but more importantly, getting that flinch off this turn. He recovers. I, can we take this thing out? Like, no Evo Light. I'm just going to get some HP back. Hope we can take it out. Top of any flinches. Like, no Evo Light. So, could, be, could do it. Wow. Wow, this thing is a full. Dude, we lost this battle 100% of the time. 100%. I might just run it. I might just run it. This one, this one's doing me dirty, man. Snarl's got to come out here. This one geyser again. This top of Finney's boosted, man. Now I switch. Smart cookie. Dude, why is this thing so bulky without the Evo Light? Like, wow. We're going to have to avoid it. We hit this thing. This thing is an absolute tank. Like, I thought we were gonna take that thing out. No evil light. There goes our. We need just get smashed over. This is GG's. Wow, man. Yeah, should have Dynamax Zygarde. That one's all on me. That one's all on G's. But we're gonna be going one and one here. Not a bad battle. We played it pretty well, just didn't Dynamax. Didn't Dynamax at the correct time. And I, I lost this battle here. That one's gonna be able to eat up all day. Like, we're not taking this thing out. We're, we're like, it's not happening. He has a light screen as well. It's over. And he has an extra Pokemon. And he has an extra Pokemon. So I'm just going to run this one. We are going to start off 1-1. One one, but we have our third and final battle to look for that winning record in. Sitting at 1-1. One one, looking for that winning record. Going up against a Ho-Oh team alongside with Grimmsnarl, Haxorus, Gastrodon, uh, Landorus, and Delmas. Okay, so pretty cool team. Who should I go into? Ooh, do I go Whimsy? Do I go Whimsy? I we could totally just take Speed Advantage here. I think that is going to be play. It's going to be play. Go Whimsy. Um, I could go Thousand Arrows and knock off Flying Pokemon, right? Is that what it does? Like, any Flying Pokemon comes to the ground? It's something like that. It's something so dope. Let's check it out. Does this move also hits Pokemon that are in the air? Those Pokemon are knocked on the ground. Ooh, baby. That's lovely. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna get rolling with that. We are gonna get rolling with that. Uh, final spot, or final two spots. Definitely want Scizor in the back end. Scizor rocks out. He does have Storm Drain, but I still want that top of Finny. I still want that top of Finny. This is why I wish we had Moon Blast on this thing. Moon Blast would rock out. It would be so nice right now. But I am going to bring Top Infinity and we're going to get more from here. But that last battle, man. I'm upset. I'm upset. We coiled up. We should have just done that. We should have done that. We had our policy proc. We had our, what's it called? We had our coil set up. But dude, Porygon, I, I always underestimate him. He hits like an absolute truck. And he was super bulky too after taking out his Evo Bite. But yo, this is exactly what I wanted. I want this ho to come in here. I'm going to Thousand Arrows. I'm going to dump on it. I'm going to drop this thing. Might not KO it, but so we're going to do some big damage onto it. Um, I'm going to Tailwind. And I'm going to Thousand Arrow. I thought it would be super effective. Never mind. Never mind. It's fine, but still. Get Thousand Arrows. 
Uh, do I do it? Or do I coil? I'm gonna tell one here. But coil, man. Coil, man. Coil's a solid turn. Might fake me out. Not a thousand hours. He's gonna die to Mexico. Alright. The Tailwind is gonna get off here. He might fake me out. But who would he fake out? Probably the Wimscott. Trying to gut the Tailwind and then just airstream into it? That's, that's a possibility. That is a possibility. Let's see. Make a move, buddy. There's no fake out. Okay, so no fake out comes out. We get off at 10, which is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Reflect is gonna come out here. Okay. Alright, I see you, buddy. I see you. There's my thousand hours. We're gonna knock down this hoe to the ground a little bit and do like no damage. I probably should have cooled there. Would have been nice. Actually, missing come out here up against Wimscott. Wimscott is dead. That's totally fine. They're not gonna get speed boost, but our town was neglecting some of that. Alright. Um. I might coil here. I might coil. Get the defense boost. They're both physical. They are both physical attacking. Thing is, uh, Life Orb. Could go Finny. Uh, I think. Mm, this is where we go down in one shot. I'm gonna go Finny here. We're gonna get off the Finny. Uh, I'm going to coil. And. And. Our dragon moves are gonna be half. You know that. Actually, I might not coil. Do I coil? Hmm. My heal pulls. You know what? I'm going to Nature's Madness. Bring that thing down a lot of HP, and I am going to coil up here. Oh, now he's on the ground. Now it's super quick. Now I could die now. Just to get rid of this hello. That's going to be play. We're going to do that. We are going to do that. That is play of the week. Right here. Thousand arrows knocks him down. Now now we're super effective. Yeah, we're going to die. We're not, not going to waste time. Here. I'm not going to try to coil and set up. I should, I should have coiled last turn. But no, this actually worked out pretty well considering we thousand arrows knocked him down. Now we, we can go for a super effective next quake. And we can roll from there. See, I thought it was super effective, but I guess because he was flying and he wasn't on the ground yet. Bruh. Outplayed. Outplayed right there. Means are setting up. Yeah, smart play. Smart play, y'all. Yo, you get a little clap. You get a clap from jeans. Nice play. Nice guard. I wasn't expecting you to do that. He gets off a free light stream. Should have coiled. Should have coiled, man. <laughs> Would have been play. Um, do you have any Pokemon to fly or swap into? Oh, it's Quake. Oh, we can't swap into land now. And just muddy water. And I'm going to Quake in him. Uh, is he going to swap? Let's see. I might swap in the land now. Keep the hell up. It's not. Okay, cool. Simple play. Engine matches. I think we're doing a little bit of damage. Nice. We get that act drop on him. Oh, and on him. Ooh. Ooh. Here's my Quake. Quake's getting rolling here. I'm going to do a decent amount of damage. Not going to KO it, though. Yep. There we go. Decent amount. Get a special defense boost. Even, even, even though both these Pokemon are physical. He does have the screens up, which are neglecting a lot of damage. So he goes for Steel Spike into Tapu. Yep, Tapu, eat it up. Good work. Citrus Berry's gonna pop. And I wonder what Grim... Grim, go for a Spirit Break. Go for a Spirit Break, dude. I'll give you, I'll give you five bucks Venmo. I'll send it to you right to your account. Right to your account. You can work right into my Zygarde. Give me my policy. Let me, let me, let me pop it. Let me pop it, baby. Let me pop it. Ooh! Five bucks Venmo going to you. <laughs> Critical hit. That's totally fine. We getting after it. Policy's popping. Um, I think I just heal pulls and get rid of this Grimsaw. Uh, do I even heal pulls? I'll probably heal pulls next turn. I'd rather go for this muddy water and just quake over into you. I think it's gonna be play. I think it's play. He's gonna withdraw the hoe. I'm thinking I'm going for a quake, but I'm not. He's gonna go in Lando. Oh, he goes in a gat. Ooh, muddy water does nothing. Nothing just gives him an attack boost. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. We'll get rid of this Grimstarl. We'll get rid of Grimmy. Sorry, Grimstarl. You're out of here, pup. I am gonna heal pulse next turn. Gotta keep gotta keep my Zargard up. 
Even though I want him to get boosted to his uh, power construct, it'd be lovely. It is nice. We are plus two on special defense. So, real good. Real good. Especially up against Storm Jane. We're not bad right here. We don't have Wormish Out, but we do have Scissor in the back. No Tailwind. I mean, Gastron is super slow regardless. Might bring back out Ho-Oh. -Oh. No, he's gonna bring hacks. He's gonna bring hacks. And did we outspeed hacks? I'm gonna heal pulse. I have the heal pulse here. I have heal pulse here. Terrain is gone. Oh no, it's not. The terrain could help us out here. Let's drop a thousand arrows. Hmm. The other shot's not bad. I could protect the turn. I think I'm just gonna a thousand arrows. Breaking swipe can come through here. Doesn't affect Tapu, and this is good that we went after this because that might bring his pet. Ooh, his power construct coming out. He's gonna drop our attack, but still, the terrain is helping us out. Heal pulse is gonna bring us back up in HP, which is lovely. Which is lovely. Oh, so does that mean power construct doesn't happen now? <laughs> I gotta read up on that, man. That was an arrow doing some damage. Then we gotta read up on that earth power coming out here. I gotta, I gotta see what's going on here. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Let me go. Let me go check it out. The Zygarde, Power Construct, other cells gather to aid. When its HP becomes half or less, then the Pokemon changes its form. Okay. I really, I really like that, but. Can I go into muddy water? Do I taunt you? Hmm. Could boost my speed here, too. I'm gonna do this. I guess I've come through. Doesn't affect Tapu, we're gonna be able to eat up again. He's slower my attack. It's fine. Which is fine. We're back to normal. I just start coiling. I I taunt it. Okay, that works. I don't remember doing it, but that's fine. Get him! Get him! Get him! Keep going! Hit three times. Our defense is going to drop, but our speed's gonna boost. Lovely. Earth power coming out here. That would finish it, yo. Takes a snack out there. Missed the spirit, but we have speed now. So that was actually a good trade. Real good trade. Can't manage his madness anymore. Let's swap. Let's swap into Skizzy, man. Did Nature's madness only hit? During the terrain, right? Oh yeah, I think we need the terrain. I guess we'll heal pulse. You know he's not to. Good coil. Nah, we're just gonna take you out. We can get rid of you. I can coil next turn. I'm tired of you dropping my attack. You buttery biscuit. <laughs> Yo, can you like hit my Zygarde so we can power construct? Like, can you just do that for me? I cannot go into a water move. And this is why I wish I, we had Moonblast. It's all coming out here. Yes. If you get a burn. Oh, so God, help me. Thank you, Lord. All right. Drop defense again. I'm going to do a hard swap. And I'm going to take out the taxes. Son of a biscuit, man. We're going for a scale shot here. The band. We're going to be able to outspeed that, so a thousand hours can do less damage next turn. Swap it into you, Sizzle. Get out of here, baby. Get out of here. So we're going to swap for swap. I think we're going to see another skull come out here. Can we get a five hitter this time? This spell's not bad. There you go. There's three. Come on, keep it going. Why three, dude? Why are you stopping at three? At least give me four. Defense is dropping. Speed's boosting. Skull coming out. You get a burn. All shaking off, reflect, finally, go on, get out of here. Alright. Drop a heavy bullet punch. Who's the final mod? Haxorus. I don't want a U-turn here. Or just superpower. And then hard swap. Let's play. We're gonna do this. We are going to superpower and hard swap. That was an answer to come out here. Can we pick up the KO onto this, onto this hoe? 
Ouch. Ouch. Recover? Ugh. Yo, dude, this battle's long. Yo, this is a solid video. This is a solid length video. Second and third battle are decently long. Super power coming out here. Hey. Yes. Good work, Scissor. Good work. Now we swap into the Tapu. Get that terrain buzzing again. I go for Nature's Madness. Half this hell owes HP. My screen's gone. My screen is gone. Hexers comes out here. Hexers is going to protect. Right, Hexers protects. You take a hard swap. Get that terrain rolling again. And we thousand arrow. Because we already knocked this thing down the ground. I'm just gonna thousand arrow. Just double up. And just in case this Hexers does protect. Does he still have Dynamax? Or did he send it already? No, he sent it with the Ho-Oh. He did send it with the Ho-Oh. That was an arrow coming through. He's gonna be GG. He's gonna pick it up. He's gonna clean this up. Takes out the Axis. Yo, we got this one in the bag, baby. Let's go. 2 1 for today's video. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Solid first battle. Well, really solid first battle. We kind of just dominate that bit battle. He's Taker Fire. Top of Finney would have ate that regardless. Uh, second battle was long drawn out. But we didn't Dynamax when we should have. And this one was a solid long battle, which we just played really, really well. And then picking up that W in the end. He's probably going to run it. He does not. He lets Thousand Arrows come down again. And we do not get to show off Power Control, though. Everyone's so scared to proc that thing because it's amazing. But so we rolled out strong. Got that winning record and went 2-1 for today's video. Had a blast with this team today. Love that we got to show off Zygarde once again. And... We had some awesome Pokemon to play with as well. We had the Thunders, the Incineroar, absolutely love playing with the Scizor. The Wimscott's always fun to tailwind around, and we had Switcheroo on this one. And then the final one was Tapu Finney with the Nature's Madness moveset. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.